How's free Wi-Fi anywhere in America sound to you? It sounds pretty awesome to me. If FCC Chairman Julius Janikowski gets his way, that's exactly what we're going to see happen. He wants to, instead of auctioning off a lot of the public spectrum of uh, broadband and, and, and uh, communications airwaves, he wants to keep those and promote free internet throughout the country for Americans to use. That would mean that instead of having to pay your cell phone you know, bill to text or make phone calls or surf the web on your phone or in your house, you could use the free public version. It's a really great idea. A lot of people are saying that this would help a lot of poor people because obviously poor people can't afford the internet right now and it would eliminate that stigma and that divide between America that is kind of keeping and, and holding us back. This would be a world's first system as, as far as I know. It would No other country in the world has something like this. And so of course you, it's meeting a lot of backlash from the telecommunications industry who wants the government to auction off that those public airwaves to them. And they're saying, oh, you know, who knows what's going to happen with the public airwaves if you, with the, with the public Wi-Fi, if you have it open to everybody. It's better if, if we have that and manage that. And uh, Julius Janikowski has basically said, that's a difference of opinion we have. We have seen very little evidence that opening up the uh, spectrum to the public would cause a lot of problems. They just don't see it. That's a that's a, a, a red heron that the telecommunications industry is, is trying to fly. And then you see companies like Google and Microsoft, who are huge rivals, uh, having a rare partnership on this issue, supporting the FCC because they want as many people in America to have internet as possible so that they can use their products and services, which makes sense. And it's all kind of part of Janikowski's plan to have at least 100 million Americans using 100 uh, megabit per second or faster speeds by 2020 because this is going to pressure the telecommunications industry to offer better products for cheaper, better service for cheaper because if there's free Wi-Fi out there, then if you're paying for it, you better be getting something pretty darn good. And that's the idea that Google is kind of taking on this with their fiber optics network that they've started in Kansas City, Missouri and Kansas City, uh, Kansas. The city kind of straddles the border of those two states. They've started their fiber optics network that gives one gigabyte uh, per second speed. And already you're seeing Time Warner Cable, the big telecommunications uh, company in that area, dropping their prices from $45 to $30 and increasing their speeds from 10 to 15 megabits per second. So already just in one city, you're seeing the effect of Google Fiber coming in uh, a better service and undercutting the market and forcing these telecommunications industries, the telecommunications companies, which are making ridiculous profits on the, the for the actual service that they're putting out. Wi-Fi should not be this expensive in the country. Everybody, the cell phone carriers, these telecommunications companies are making a killing on this. And so that's one of the things that Julius Janikowski wants to try and stop. Now, who is Julius Janikowski, if you've never heard of him before? He went to Colombia. Uh, I don't know if they went at the same time, but he and President Barack Obama went to Colombia for undergrad, and they were at Harvard Law School together. They were both on the Harvard Law Review. And so they've stayed longtime friends. When it came time for Barack Obama to run for president, Janikowski was one of his chief advisors, especially in the realm of technology. And he was one of the main keys to uh, pushing Obama to use and harness the power of the internet for his uh, now historic 2008 presidential campaign that used the internet to organize and raise money and campaign in a way that no other political candidate in the history of the world had ever done. And you saw the success of it. He's now uh, a second term president of the United States. So this is definitely uh, thanks to President Obama being in office because he put Jill Gen uh, Julius Janikowski in the position of the chairman of the FCC. And now you have Janikowski, who is a huge supporter of net neutrality and who wants as many Americans as possible uh, as quickly as possible to have the internet. So good job, Julius. Keep it up. 
Hopefully the FCC approves your plan and we can start putting more and more pressure on these companies to offer better services for lower prices.